just finished my workout today. Um, I showered at the gym because I was a sweaty mess afterwards, but I also went to the sauna for like seven minutes after. And let me tell you, that sauna will make you sweat like you've never sweat before. So I really had to take a shower. Um, and now it's raining. So um, I, didn't, I like, blue dry my hair a little bit so it's not sopping wet but it's still damp so it doesn't really matter but i've been trying to be more consistent with cycling because i want to incorporate more cardio into my workout the thing is this teacher today was her last day teaching this class on wednesdays and so if i want to go to her class it's gonna to have to be on monday at night which um I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, I could just do cycling at school as well. So there's always that. But yeah, cycling is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I actually quite enjoy it. All right, good morning, guys. I'm on my way to the gym. Um, I was going to try to do cycling today. I'm going to try to do the on-demand class on the bike that's in the gym. I don't really know how that works, but my sister said that it works. So we're going to try it. But before I went to the gym, I stumbled upon this app. It's called Too Good To Go. And essentially, they sell things that weren't able to be sold that day or just excess products that they have. And they sell it for really, really cheap. So I got this surprise bag for $5. And I kind of just want to go through it and see like what they gave me. It's like this huge bag of pastries so far it looks like five different pastries like i see a couple of croissants in here and i'm not really sure what the other things are but it's essentially a dollar per pastry which i think is kind of a good deal so if this is something you guys are interested in so that you don't waste food or things like that i would definitely check out the app um they have certain stores that are just associated with it and so they help reduce food waste with it and I think that's a really good thing so check out the app um, I'm gonna go to the gym now and see how this bicycle thing works hello so I just got out of my class I did struggle a little bit to figure out how the app on the com the bicycle works I figured it out I did a 45 minute class and I kind of don't mind not being in a class because it's essentially the same thing like you have the instructor on the screen um the only thing is my bike i think like the the power thing to measure your cadence and your speed was broken or didn't have enough battery so it wasn't really measuring my speed but that's fine because i have my apple watch anyways and i burned about 400 calories which is a lot so I'm, i would say that was a pretty good cycle session and i was sweating so it was good now, if I can't make it to a studio to actually like cycle with an instructor in front of me, then this is an alternative and it's fine. So um, I'm gonna go home now. T today I'm going to be doing archery with Maggie and Kush. So I'll see if I can get some clips there, but I've never gone before and I'm excited to try something new. So of course I forgot to show you guys clips at the archery place, but this is essentially my target. And as you can see, like I eventually got two in the yellow, four in the red, and then the rest are just like scattered throughout. And I ended up hitting like the side of my arm with the bow, which was really painful, but it eventually went away. So it was a good experience. Hi guys, so today is Friday. Um, my school is holding like an event fair or um, where these recruiters are coming in to kind of just tell us about the jobs that they're having in the hospital. So that's why I'm dressed up. Um, can't really see it, but I'm wearing like a blouse and dress pants and loafers. Um, but before I headed to campus, a couple of weeks ago, a friend and I painted some pottery and then they like had it fired. And then today I just came to pick them up. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys what they look like. I painted a ring holder and then like when the lady was bringing it out, she was like, oh my gosh, this is such a cute ring holder. And then I looked at it and honestly, the, the way that the pottery looks when you first paint it, it's like really ugly in a way because the colors don't come out the way that you want them to. And so um, this is what my ring holder looks like. 
it's a cactus and then i put some like flowers on the bottom and i also um along like the rim i have some of this like whitish beige stuff and then on the back i have my initial and then just like some flowers that you can't really see like i'm happy that i have this and it's like customized just for me um i'm gonna put up a picture of what the pottery looked like before it was fired and glazed and then the other one which is my friend's she did a cup and it actually looks really cute um so this is like the outside design um and then this is the front and then on the inside she did some smileys as well so hopefully she likes it because this was her birthday present um and i i think it was a nice experience because i got to like sit down and we got to like paint together um and my love language is more so quality time so i like spending time with people and um yeah it was really really fun so if it's something that you guys have always wanted to try i would definitely give it a try hello guys i had a recruitment event this morning and um it was for like emergency medicine which i'm not really interested in but we are supposed to just go for all the events and it was really interesting because they were talking about this fellowship and um especially if you are a graduating pa student and you want to do emergency medicine um they're trying to push for fellowships in er because or in ed because of how much you don't know as a new grad and i completely agree with where they're coming from so a lot of hospitals are pushing for it and especially if you want to go into that field that's something that you want to definitely explore so they had some people come in to talk to us today about that i just finished my workout this is my pre-workout literally a coffee this is the iced apple crisp macchiato i think this is one of their fall drinks it's not bad i decreased the amount of pumps of the brown sugar in it though because i don't really want to drink so much sugar um and then the company that came to talk to us they catered panera bread so i took a parfait and this is going to be my post gym snack or meal if i can figure out how to get this cup out i'm just gonna pour all the granola in today is my dad's birthday so i'm going to pick up a cake for him after i finish this and i've been looking at the chantilly cake from whole food just because i know a lot of people used to say it was really good and we've never tried it like my family's never tried it so that's something i want to try good morning everyone today is tuesday and i'm headed to the gym on this early morning i woke up around like seven and now it's eight o'clock i really wanted to be at the gym at eight but i was really tired so i didn't feel like getting up until now um i didn't eat breakfast just because I think I'll just eat when I get back, but I'm gonna try to do cycling today. Then, um, yeah, we don't have class, which is one of the nice things about research semester is that there's like less time in the classroom and more time for us to actually do work in our groups. So that's what's happening today. We don't have any class scheduled. Hi, you say hi. <laughs> it's so far from her. You wanna, you wanna be in my vlog? Look, where did we go? We went to Jericho Simon's. They got donuts. I got um, ice cream that was supposed to be apple crumb flavor. But we ended up getting coffee. I know. And then um, she said later on that they ran out. I got oh, my where loot. did she even come from? <laughs> um, and then we got frozen apple cider. Yeah. Okay, go pay for it. They're literally gonna think that you're like running away. No, Hi guys, I kind of just wanted to show you this because my friends and I, we went to get apple cider and donuts today, but then afterwards we went to the mall because we were just in the shopping type of mood. So we went to the store called Alter State and um, I know the bag looks really big, but I didn't, I really only got like one thing and um, they didn't have any smaller bags. So I wanted to show you cause it's 
it's literally like this small. I love their packaging and I really, really like everything in the store, except the fact that it's so expensive for my college budget. So this is what I got. It's like a hair clip and it's bigger than the ones that I have at the moment. Like all the ones that I have right now are just a little bit smaller. And so sometimes I have trouble getting all of my hair into it but I wanted to get a new one because the bigger ones that I used to have, it cracked. And so this one was a really cute color. There was one that was a like two-tone color that they had where it was like a tannish brown and then like a lighter brown, but this clip seems really big and like it'll hold everything. Yeah, I just thought it was a cute clip color. I will go and make dinner now because it's 5 30. hi everyone um so i kind of just wanted to come on here and update you on what is happening this rainy rainy day it's really gross outside this morning i had brunch with my friends because it was one of their birthdays so we went to this kind of afternoon tea kind of place we got a bunch of scones and like croissants and then we got a pot of tea and now i am editing my video on how i studied during clinical year so that should be the next video that goes up let's talk about school i am currently taking epidemiology and research design and analysis which is where we have to do a thesis project and so my group and i chose a question then we have to execute that during like an experiment or some sort of observational study or correlational study and that's basically it we chose our topic and every week we continue to learn about the different parts of creating a study and then we go ahead and execute that and then by the end of the semester we should be ready to present um our study our entire like thesis project if that makes any sense and then in epi it's more just learning about how we prevent like spread of disease and infection and stuff like that so those are the two classes that i'm taking this semester and other than that it's supposed to be a lot of like reviewing for the boards and also looking for jobs and whatnot so i've been applying and i've been interviewing and i just had an interview that was essentially what i really really want to do and so i'm hoping that i get some good news next week because i i really like the job and i think it fits like where i'm supposed to be in my career so cross my fingers and i'm just hoping that i hear some good news next week yeah so that's that um tiffany's birthday is coming up soon and i have started to gather like little bits of things for her for her birthday so i just want to show you because i think i have two of the things here and then one of them is coming on monday i believe so i'll start with what i got her that's coming on monday which is this little hotel looking keychain and tiffany was the person that i went to go see the barbie movie with and so i got her a little keychain that says keys to my mojo dojo casa house and if you watched barbie you'll know what that reference is for but i think she would really like that and i think it's really cute and then um, Tiffany also really likes to read books and she's more of a physical book person rather than let's say like my Kindle, like me. I got her this little bookmark that's like a ginkgo leaf and it's metal and then you kind of just like loop it through the page, which I thought was really cute. And then the last thing that I got her was an Awala bottle and she personally chose this color, which is a color that they actually don't sell anymore on the Awala site but they have this on Walmart. So if you guys are looking for this color, um, it's like a light blue and then there's like the cobalt blue. I'm excited for her to get this bottle because I also got my sister in Walla and she really, really likes it. So those are the things that I got her. I think I'm gonna watch a movie because today is really rainy and gross and I, it just, it feels like a movie kind of day. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hi guys, so I just hopped off of a virtual interview and um, it was quite long. It was almost 50 minutes and I spoke to three different people. So that was a little bit of a different interview than I'm used to, but I think it went okay. Hopefully we hear some good news. 
Um, the thing that I was talking about in the last clip, I believe, where I said I was getting um, Tiffany a birthday gift, um, and it's this keychain, like this hotel keychain. This is what it looks like, right? It's like pink, and then it says, keys to my Mojo Dojo Casa house. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was really cute. Right now, I think I'm gonna head to the gym and do some cycling because last Friday when I wanted to go, they were doing construction on the road and so I wasn't able to actually get into the gym. But I'm gonna try to go today and then um, do some cycling because I kind of miss it. So um, I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, um, I just got home. Today we had a like career event again. So we pretty much were in class for a couple of hours and then we got to go home. So I stopped by Chipotle because I was craving some, but I didn't want like a whole bowl because that's a lot of food and it's almost three o'clock right now. So it's almost time for dinner soon. So I know you guys probably have heard of it, like the kids meal, but that's exactly what I got. Um, I also got some, Chips, and then I got a side of guac. I don't think I've ever tried Chipotle's guac before, which is a little weird. So I want to give it a try. They stuff this literally to the brim. I fully appreciate because if not, that would have been a really big ripoff. I got the kids meal. It comes with, I chose two soft tortillas and then my sides. I chose the carne asada, brown rice and one and honestly i think i paid six dollars for this and it looks like it's a lot of food i'm probably going to watch some tv and then also work on the research project we have to do literature review so i have to find some articles to um help us write our introduction and our background that's probably what i'm going to do for the rest of the day 